In today's video, we're going to walk you guys through how to play Magic the Gathering Arena on any mobile device. Thanks for watching. Hey, welcome back. Have you ever wanted to play Magic the Gathering Arena on your phone, uh, maybe on your iPad, somewhere that's not your computer, maybe even while you're away from the house potentially, right? Uh, but being unable to do so obviously because we can't download this natively through uh, the Wizards of the Coast. However, today I'm gonna bring you guys a quick tutorial on how you can do so with remote desktop and play uh, Magic the Gathering Arena on any device now this is free if you're on your home Wi-Fi, but if you're away from the home, this is still possible, but you're gonna run into a little bit of the data drainage, but it's not that steep. Um, so you should be able to do it. Uh, obviously monitor that uh, and use your own discretion. Let's get right into it. So normally we're playing Magic the Gathering Arena on our desktop and it looks just like this, right? Um, but we're gonna go away from the computer here and we're gonna try to get it on our phones. So we're gonna throw open our screen capture here. Uh, we're still on the computer. This is a uh, Chrome remote desktop and normally uh, you would download this as an extension. We'll click on that, uh, go to extensions. You can Google it and then when you Google it, uh, this website will come up obviously, remotedesktop.com. And then you'll just add your computer here. We, for the sake of you guys, we'll remove this and uh, go through the whole process one more time. Right, so set up remote access. This is what you should come uh, into seeing. So turn this on, name your computer, uh, throw your pin in there. Needs to be six numbers. There we go, and it's as easy as that. So you name your computer, it'll start up. And then once it's started, we're gonna switch over to our phones and we're gonna do the exact same thing. All right, so now that we're on our phones, we're gonna pop into our store. I'm on Android, so we're using the Play Store. Then we'll hit our search bar. Uh, obviously, again, just looking for a Chrome remote desktop. There it is. We're gonna install that. It'll take a second to install. Not long, though. It is a very small uh, application. Easy as that. Let's open it up. It knows uh, my login information already, and then we're gonna connect. And then all we have to do is re-enter that password. Whoa. There we go. So you'll see that we're logged on, and uh, this has got my OBS open, um, but over here is our main screen. Uh, normally you only have one screen open because we just uh, are running that. But now if we go over back to our Magic the Gathering Arena, oh. graphics full screen, That'll make it better for us. So now we have the game basically loaded up. Uh, I've got my stream bots chat there as well. But uh, we could go in here, edit decks. This is all right on our phone, which is great, right? Um, still a little bit of trouble touching some of those top things, but we could easily just resize it like that and adjust so that we've only got the one screen on. Obviously, you won't have that problem as you'd just be running the one monitor. Um, but nonetheless, uh, a really cool way to play Magic the Gathering Arena on your phone. Uh, a little bit annoying, I'll have to admit, but uh, that's as good as we get for now. And I can't imagine them bringing this uh, onto this device, but we can always look forward to that in the future. So there we have it. You can play Magic the Gathering Arena from any device, basically, that supports remote desktop. Uh, any mobile device, most definitely. Obviously, I recommend playing this on an iPad as it's got the largest screen, so the interface is gonna be most friendly. But uh, you can still manage by playing this on your phone and uh, get away from that computer chair, maybe go upstairs, relax, sit on the couch, and play a couple casual matches like that. So, thanks for watching. If you found any value here or you liked the video, make sure to like this video down below. If you didn't, make sure to dislike it. Just give me some feedback. Let me know how I'm doing. Um, and yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching and we will see you all later with more videos.